You've seen the signs everywhere. Employers are urgently hiring and asking for patients as they face a staffing shortage due to the highly contagious Omicron variant. Our Mariah Condor spoke with a local ER doctor who says they're 20 percent understaffed while treating an influx of patients. It just goes to show you it's not just the uh, it's not just the public that's affected. The influx of positive COVID-19 cases in East Texas is causing a trickle-down effect to businesses and hospitals. Lots of positive cases out there. Hospitalizations uh, have gone up. Large number of people have been infected and correspondingly a large number of employers are having issues with employees who have now come down with COVID-19. At Tyler Complete Care, things are taking a turn for the worse. Over about the last three weeks, uh, our volume has really shot up. It's running probably 50 or 60 percent above normal. And it's not just the patients. Just today, uh, I heard we've had our fourth person uh, go out with uh, COVID just in the last several days. Dr. Wallace says at any given time now, the ER can be anywhere between 20 to 25 percent understaffed, taking a toll on the staff both mentally and physically. I know it's tough because uh, I think it does contribute to some degree of burnout. You're asking uh, people to work seven days a week and work overtime. But NetHealth says a light could be at the end of the tunnel. If you look at what's happened in South Africa and in Britain, uh, it seems that their their spikes last anywhere from four to six weeks. So we're, if you think about it right now, we're probably in, in between probably week two and week three of our spike. Robert says health officials will still see a high number of infections before it levels off. And Tyler, Mariah Condiff, CBS 19. Tyler Complete Care wants to urge people seeking a COVID-19 test with no symptoms of illness to take a different route if possible to help them provide care to severely sick patients during this time.